it is said that the man who does not read the books has no advantage over the one who cannot read them so read the books and make yourself skilled and talented hello everyone my name is muhammadullah and i'm your english teacher today we are going to start the second chapter the clever girl in this video we'll cover up the reading portion and we'll focus on the pronunciation intonation etc are you ready for that so let's get started Here we go. Second chapter, the clever girl. What is this chapter about? This is a story of a small state in South Africa, which was surrounded by enemies. The people were helpless and could not do anything to save themselves. This small town was saved by a little girl. who made a clever plan so let's begin from here long ago there were small states in south africa you see i have highlighted few words here which you need to pay more attention all right okay long ago there were small states in south africa these states were ruled by various kings Some of the states were as small as a town or city. Were many people pronounce this word "were," but it's not "were." It's "were." South Africa, Africa, Africa. Long ago, there were small states in South Africa. These states were ruled by various kings. Some of the states. some of the states and we say it faster then we don't say of but we say a sound here some of the some of the some of the some of the both is correct but you just if you want to speak faster and this will make more flow when you say a sound here okay some of the states some of the states were as small as a town or city this one or okay or some of the states were as small as a town or city the powerful the powerful kings used to attack their nearby weaker states the powerful kings used to attack their nearby weaker states there it's not there there was such a small state called zamba there was such a small state called zamba the people of zamba were rich there were great walls there were great walls great great not great great There were great walls all around the state to safeguard it from the enemy. The Zambas territory also included many villages beyond the wall. Territory this one territory the Zambas territory also included many villages beyond the wall. Once an adjoining state attacked Zamba adjoining now adjoining Once an adjoining state attacked Zamba, all the villages lying outside the wall were captured by them. Due to great walls, the enemy could not enter the state, so they thought of surrounding the state for a long time so that the people of Zamba would starve for want of food and surrender before them. For almost three months, the people of Zamba carried on with their routine life there okay there not there their routine life gradually they exhausted all their eatables rice and wheat 
There was not even hay and grass for the animals. Seeing the alarming conditions, the king ordered all the animals to the slaughter. A few days more passed. Now hardly a thing was left with the people. The king summoned all the people and said, We have exhausted everything. It may not be possible for us to continue with our resistance and we would all starve and die of hunger. Die of hunger. The people agreed to surrender before the enemy while they were discussing about modalities of their surrender, a little girl named Nancy arrived on the scene. She was only 12 years old. I can save the state from enemy, said Nancy. Notice here, I say, I can save, I can save, not I can save, I can save. When we say it faster, then we just say it can, can, I can save. I can save the state from enemy, said Nancy. How? You are too young to fight. Moreover, we are left with no eatables to survive, said the king. I want only a goat, said the young girl. I want only a goat. I want only a goat, said the young girl. What would you do with a goat? What would you do with a goat? Would you? Would you? Would you? Many Americans say it. Would you? If a word ends at D sound and the next word starts from the U sound, then they pronounce this J. Then they pronounce the last D sound as J sound. What would you do? What would you do with a goat? Asked the king. Asked one is really very difficult to pronounce. So that's why Americans don't pronounce this asked, but they pronounce it faster, asked, asked, asked the king. You would see the enemy going away from, away tomorrow morning. You would see the enemy going away tomorrow morning, replied the girl. The king ordered a search for a goat. Since all the animals had been slaughtered, they faced great difficulty in locating a goat, but they succeeded in getting one. After the goat was brought to the king's court, Nancy asked for rice and gram. People said that there was no rice and gram in the state and all that had been exhausted. However, people went away in search and they found some gram and rice and brought it to the court. Give this rice and gram to the goat, said Nancy. Everybody was stunned. The king said, This is the only eatable left in the state and you want it to, to be given to a goat? Notice here, want it to be. Want it to be. Want it to, to be. Want it to. Want it to. This is the only eatable left in, its, in the state and you want it to, to be given to a goat? Yes, said the girl with confidence. The rice and gram were fed to the goat. Now open the gates of the state and leave this goat to go into the fields, said Nancy. How is that going to serve our purpose? Asked the minister. It will, said Nancy. But the enemy would catch it, said people. Yes, they will, but you would also see them going away, said Nancy. The goat was let out of the state gates. People saw the enemy soldiers approaching and taking away the goat. People were still bewildered, but they prayed to the God for the best. Next day, People climbed on the city wall to look for the enemy. They could not see any enemy and informed the king. The king summoned Nancy to the court. How did the enemy go away? Asked the king. Asked the villagers, replied Nancy. People from nearby villages were summoned. One of the villagers, one of the, one of the 
when we say it faster then we just say a sound here one other one of the villagers said the go the goat released from the state yesterday was caught and taken away by the enemy they killed it and tore its and tore its stomach open they found rice and gram in it saying that they said that it was not possible to defeat zamba since they had enough food even to feed their animals saying this all of them went away all of them all of them of uh, all of them saying this all of them went away thus a little girl saved zamba from the wrath of enemy by her intelligence Thus, a little girl saved Zamba from the wrath of enemy by her intelligence. Okay. Now, you have to do practice those words which I have highlighted here. Okay. The more you practice, the more you get the perfection on the pronunciation of these words. Ver, Africa, Samada. or great adjoining there if you practice then you will then you will get command over the pronunciation i can say would you asked want it to girl girl this one is very important you have to do a lot of practice to pronounce this word like me girl girl bewildered one of the all of them okay okay so that's all for today's lesson if you face any problem or if you have any query then please call me at my whatsapp number or you can text me see you next time till then take care bye bye